Hey guys, welcome to this Excel 2013 tutorial on how to name an Excel table. Um, naming Excel tables is pretty useful because names kind of give a brief description sometimes of what the table actually is and what the table describes. Um, they're also useful for just remembering, remembering the table names and what the table is. Um, Excel by default gives table names, generic names such as like table one or table two, but it really is smart to give your tables names. So um, anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very simple. You just select a cell within your table, and then you're going to see that the table tools design and design tab appears up here. Click on design, and then you're going to locate the properties group, and you can see up here there's a box for the table name. Uh, in this box we have the generic table, na table name which is table 1. We're going to click in the box and then we're going to type in our table. So I'm just going to name this Todd's table. And then I just hit enter and my table name is changed. Okay there's some uh, rules for table names <clears throat> and I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to go in here again and I'm going to go change the table name and I'm going to say Todd's table with the space between the words. And I'm going to hit enter. And then you can see that I get this error dialog box. And it tells me, you know, that this name is not valid. The name that I've entered is not valid. The reason why for, uh, for this name is because I have a space. You c uh, the names for tables, table names cannot consist of spaces. Um, you're going to have to use an underscore if you want to use... Um, for your spaces but you can't just have a space another thing you can't uh, begin your table names with letters you can begin your table name I mean you can't begin your table names with numbers but you can use letters or underscore um, another reason that you might <coughs> a name might not be valid is because it conflicts with other names that are already that have already been assigned to tables or ranges of cells within Excel um, or other built-in names for objects that uh, Excel uses. All right, so that concludes this quick tutorial. I hope it helped you out, and don't forget to check out a bunch of our other videos, including our Excel for Noobs um, tutorial series. Thanks for watching, and bye.